Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of July. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon and your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So this is about a major decision one that has you afraid, um, one that has all kinds of things running through your mind. Um, whoever this is for, um, you are sitting in this Eight of Swords energy here. Um, this is being trapped in one's fears and um, really a lot of overthinking here. The head is bandaged, the heart is bandaged. It's almost like you're your own worst enemy. You are trying to shed light on these fears and this is about whether or not something can grow. Whether or not something, uh, an opportunity can um, like stand the test of time, the journey. At the root of your fears is the Knight of Pentacles. This is about forward movement. Um, have I thought everything through? Possibly you're worried about that too. Um, I feel like this is about um, possibly um, getting married. This could be somebody who is engaged to be married or uh, their partner really uh, has put them on the spot wanting a marriage or a commitment from them and they are in <laughs> extreme anxiety over this because they're worried. They're worried about every single thing you can imagine. Um, here they are thinking, here they are thinking. Um, they don't really, uh, it's a very emotional decision for them. Um, they're worried that it won't last. They're worried that they'll lose this, that, 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 they, uh, that they stand too much, uh, there's too much to lose. Um, they're worried that uh, if they take a gamble, they'll lose. It's a lot of negative thinking. This person is uh, deceiving themselves, I feel. They may not be speaking up. They, they may not uh, have told the person about all of the fears that they do have. But this is a major decision with judgment being here. Um, it's not that they don't feel a connection. That's not what this problem is because clearly they feel a very deep connection, but it's like a self doubt or lack of confidence. Um, am I doing the right thing? I really have a lot of desire for this person, a lot of passion for this, but is this the right thing? What if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't last? What if I get my heart broken? What if I lose everything? I mean, this person is very emotional about this. What if I give this person my cup and, and I get hurt or I lose everything and it just doesn't work. This person is, uh, they're not trusting. I feel that this issue, the issue is not so much the relationship. It's this person's belief system. It's all the experiences that they've seen, that they've heard, uh, that the that they've witnessed uh, that they believed to be true going back to childhood that has shaped their belief system and um, 
every time they're faced with something that is similar to the root cause, they react in this in 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 the manner that they believe. You know that comes from this belief system. They believe it's not going to work out. Maybe they come from a broken family. Or maybe they've just seen too many or witnessed too many relationships that didn't work. Because see, here we have the squire of shields in the reverse. So this is like the false prophet. And when he's reversed, it's like, well, it looks real good on the surface. But what is lying beneath this? What if this person is pulling the wool over my eyes? Can I really trust in this offer? I'm not really happy with this. Uh, what if something goes wrong? What if it doesn't work? See this? Hmm. Uh, should I? Shouldn't I? I just don't know. Because the attraction is definitely here. But so is the fear. Many fears. You see, and, and it's up here in the fears. What if this person is double dealing? What if they cheat? What if they're lying? What if there's loss? What if they're hiding something from me? Eight of Swords repeats again in their fears. And so they, in the position that they are living in fear like this, do not see a way out. Again, you see down here, um, the Lord of Love. So this is definitely you. You're looking at the tower and you're looking at the Ten of Swords. This is how you view this situation. <laughs> the tower. Uh, yeah, the tower here. This is you, first of all. You're looking here. You see the direction he looks? And this is, he's looking towards the future. Okay, so when he's looking to the right. He's looking out this way. He's looking to the future. And in the future, this is what he sees. He sees the tower. You see that? Destruction. Things falling apart. The walls falling down. People falling out of the tower. And then you see this? It's not funny. I'm laughing, but I mean, it's not funny. This person has some serious issues that need to be dealt with. Okay, Ten of Swords. What if I take this path? Okay, and unbeknownst to me, these little swords jump out and stab me in the back. So this is what this person sees when they look in the future. They see uh, possibly being left out in the cold loss. They see lack, they see heartbreak, and they see death. This person is struggling with, uh, with this Ten of Cups. Maybe they've had little arguments, but nothing that would support all of the fears that this person has had or, or that they have. So what this person needs to do is go back, uh, quiet the mind and uh, go back, way back to uh, and through every incident where they felt this way or where they felt these fears and take it all the way back to find the root cause because you're not the same person now as you were back then when you believed it to be true. You can change this energy. You can change it. But you have to find the root cause. You have at the bottom of the deck the angel Fornius, and he is about honesty, um, being honest and clear about your your aims all will go well um 
Honesty in all of your dealings includes being honest with yourself. So you need to get honest with yourself about these fears that are keeping you prisoner and keeping you from your Ten of Cups. Belial. I think it's actually pronounced Belair. You um, feel, uh, it's like you're sitting in uncertain times. There's a lot of uncertainty. You need to take a deeper look here. There, you've got a lot of doubts. It's what this card is saying. Volak. The solution, it's right under your nose. If only you look the right way. This angel will guide you to the hidden treasures. Um, sometimes, um, sometimes literally, but more often to treasures of the soul. Intangible insights that suddenly bring life back into focus. She knows the hiding places of the serpents within you and can deliver them to you. These serpents are buried truths that will poison your life if ignored, which is exactly what is happening here. But they are quite liberating when they are brought into the light in the correct manner. Now, you have balancing act in the reverse. This is a time when it is important to address the areas of your life where there is discord. Taking your own inventory is a necessary step towards rebalancing your life. Adjust yourself to the conditions of your environment that you have no control over and balance will come much more easily. If there is fairness, it must come from you. The Dragon's Lair. You feel like you're walking through dangerous unknown territory, so you're treading very carefully, being very aware of your surroundings. This path is challenging you to the core. A new experience is calling you, one that will test your courage. You may have to gather your courage to take this risk. The choice is yours. But let me tell you, there is greater value in risk taking than remaining unchallenged. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos. Oh, you know what? I just realized. <laughs> I hope people didn't click off yet. <laughs> Look at this. This is your outcome. All right. Uh, taping live. Okay, so you have the Apparel Mantam. Um, you need to heal yourself. You need to heal whatever is haunting you, okay? Um, you need to heal um, this belief system that you have. I mean, just because you believe it doesn't make it true. You believe it because of, of an experience that you had. You need to do this, okay? Because um, otherwise, you could do something you regret. Um, otherwise, um, uh, there could be an ending here. Um, it's, it's your choice to make, okay? It's your choice to make. Uh, like I said uh, a few minutes ago, there's greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. Um, but what I'm picking up for this person, you need to go back. You need to go back uh, and find out what caused you 
uh, or what puts you in that Eight of Swords energy or what puts you there every time you're faced with a uh, similar situation. Find it, delete it, rewrite it. Watch your life change. Now it's really over. <laughs> Many blessings. Bye for now.